Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there. Welcome back to another Streetwear Talk video, the series where we cover the latest streetwear releases, the latest streetwear news, and of course, well, we just discuss streetwear in general. In today's video, I'm going to be covering an upcoming Kith Monday program. Yes, we are going to be covering all the release details, all the official images, and my thoughts and opinions on the Kith for G-Shock GM6900 Monday program. Now, just before we start talking about this upcoming Kith Monday program, guys, I do have to discuss something a little bit different first. If you guys didn't realize, over the weekend, a certain uh, subscriber milestone happened. <laughs> what happened was, is, well, I was hoping that we could hit 2,895 subscribers before the end of the month. A pretty reasonable target. I think we were, you know, destined to hit it eventually. But we didn't just hit 2895. Yes, over the weekend, we actually also hit 2,900 subscribers. So thank you guys. Thank you so much for the continuous support. I'll be updating our little banner that we have. So goodbye, 2,850. And hello, 2,900, which will be staying here obviously until we get another 50 subs and it goes up to 2,950 and then the big 3,000 hopefully sometime this year. Hopefully we can hit it guys but I just wanted to say thank you so much for the continuous support. Super happy that we're able to hit that milestone. Let's aim for 2,905 before the end of March. Hopefully with your continuous support guys we can reach that before the end of the month. Okay, well now let's start talking Kith Monday programs. Yes guys, so this 22nd of March 2021, Kith is dropping a new collaborative watch with Casio. Yes, they're releasing the Casio G-Shock GM6900 in like an iridescent rainbow finish. It's pretty wild and the co-branding is actually really wild as well. Now in this uh, Instagram post they've done about it, they've mentioned the 10th anniversary. Uh, is this, I, I, I'm not a huge watch guy. I'm going to be real, like watches are cool. There are a couple watches I wouldn't mind picking up, but I'm not super super knowledgeable about watches so if there's any really you know big watch guys out there please correct me in the comment section below if i make any mistakes but what it looks like is, is that kith has grabbed the 10th anniversary version of the gm6900 and they're using that to do a collaborative co-branded version of it that's so going to be pretty crazy stuff let's head on over now to kith's instagram post so we can start covering all the release details all the official images and my thoughts and opinions on this upcoming collaborative watch that's releasing for this monday program and here we are at the instagram post guys if you guys want to read the instagram post for yourself it'll be linked down in that description section below like always we'll read the release details first and then we'll dive into all the official images of this collaborative watch that's releasing in this monday program so the kith for g-shock gm 6900 the 10th anniversary features a forged metal bezel with an iridescent rainbow finish. So this is where I'm a little bit in the deep end, but I'm hoping some of you watch guys in the comment section can fill me in. I'm gathering from that first sentence that this is a collab between Casio and Kith, and they're coming together to collaborate on the 10th anniversary version of the GM6900. I could be wrong, because as I said, I know nothing about watches, but I feel like that's what they are hinting to in this version here. And I guess in the other anniversary editions, it's a little bit different. I assume they change it up every anniversary it gets. So I, I, again, correct me if I'm wrong with that, but let's keep pushing on. This watch went through over 10 rounds of sampling to achieve its unique color gradation. Wild. The bezel is paired with a Kith monogram translucent strap and comes with a fully translucent strap option. Honestly, I don't even really want the translucent one. I don't, are you guys feeling that? So it comes with a translucent strap or a co-branded Kith box logo uh, strap as well. I'm more of just like a simple black strap. Like even with this crazy finish that this watch has, I still kind of would have just liked some nice black straps. I'm sure you can buy some replacement ones, which is what I would do if I was picking up this piece. But 
that's what I honestly would prefer. Let me know if you disagree with me or agree with me in the comment section below and you prefer the translucent coloured stuff, but yeah, would have liked just a simple black strap with that one. The GM6900 is shock resistant, water resistant, and includes an electroluminescent backlight, three different measuring modes, battery life of two years, flash alert, multifunction alarm, full auto calendar to the year 2099, which I mean, I doubt any of us are really going to last that long, but who knows, maybe some of us will. <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe the watch will finally run out of days to count up to, maybe you'll finally reach it, but I, I don't like my chances, I don't think I'm going to reach 100, and more, so I guess that's all pretty stock standard stuff these days, especially for digital watches and stuff, but I'm sure for its time, which just judging by the dial and everything like that, it kind of looks very 90s-ish. So, judging from whenever it originally came out, I feel like some of that stuff would have been groundbreaking technology, but I could totally be wrong. Again, I know nothing about watches. <laughs> okay, it also arrives in custom packaging that mirrors the design uh, language of the watch itself. Now, it's releasing this Monday at Kith Shops, and of course, as always, on their online store at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and as well as 11 a.m. CET time, on the Kith European online store. I guess that's Central European time? I don't know, I don't know if that's what CET time is. And it'll also be dropping on the, twin, on the same day in uh, Kith Tokyo's flagship store as well. So there you go, it's releasing in every single Kith location they have available. Well, that's all the release details guys. Let's dive a little bit further in and have a look at these images that Kith has supplied of this upcoming GM6900 collaborative watch that's releasing this Monday program. I've zoomed in even further just to give us a better idea of it. So the kit for G-Shock, the 6M, uh, sorry, the GM6900 10th anniversary is retailing for 400 US dollars, showcased in the photos of this, uh, of this Instagram post here. And here is a zoomed in uh, of the watch being torn apart into its individual pieces. We can see a co-branded kit um, backing plate of it. We can see the co-branded uh, face, the co-branded buckle, and the co-branded straps as well. I've probably just offended a bunch of watch, you know, fanatics by naming all those pieces, whatever the hell they were. <laughs> but again, yeah, I don't know much. Uh, yeah, look, it looks pretty cool. I like the use of its co-branding on like everything. Like they've done it on the back of it on where you buckle it, on the strap, on the actual face, like it's just crazy. Um, hopefully we get a photo of the packaging because they did mention some special packaging as well. Uh, here is a very zoomed in photo of that finish on it. It looks absolutely crazy. Yeah, I feel like yeah, I, if I was to pick this up, I definitely would get some black straps for it and I feel like it would just look a lot nicer. I keep the like uh, straps that it comes with inside the box and just keep them stored away, but it's a pretty damn solid looking watch. It's not really my type of thing because just uh, the model itself looks very dated. Just like that whole watch face there just looks really, really old. Uh, I understand it's probably decades old, but I'd want to wear something a little bit more modern looking, a little bit more sleek. But I know that I th that these are collectible, that the, um, the G-Shocks are. A lot of people really like them. I mean, all watches are collectible. What am I on about? But... I feel like a lot of people definitely do collect the G-Shocks because they uh, a lot of streetwear brands generally collaborate with um, Casio on the G-Shocks. I think Bape's done it a few times, but yeah, this is definitely a pop popular model that they use in streetwear. They definitely really love to like zoom in on this particular area of the watch, don't they? Do we get do we get some other images of like the packaging and stuff? No. Okay. Well, we get the co-branded strap showcased to us. As I mentioned before, it's just the Kith box logo showcased on the actual strap there. There we get the buckle itself showcase. Moving on, there's the strap with the buckle on it there. Nice. Here is the box. I honestly thought the box was gonna be a lot more louder, but I like it, you know, using like a white design just to keep it nice and simple. And it looks like there's Kith in, um, box logos going all the way around the box here, as we can see here and here. Um, and there it is, a nice little like iridescent rainbow color on top to match the finish of the watch. Well, that's the last image, guys. That's all the official images of the watch. We've covered the release details. Now, how do I feel about this watch? Well, I kind of expressed it as we went through the images. 
Uh, I'm sure to a lot of watch fanatics, this is going to be a really cool piece to pick up. I'm sure for a lot of people that like, uh, you know, Kith's collaborations with Casio to do these G-Shocks, it's really cool. But for me, I think I'm just going to miss out on this one. I don't really want to spend 400 US dollars on this watch that I'm not like really set in stone about. And it's just not the model for me. But maybe it's the model for you. Uh, I want to hear from you guys. How do you feel about this collaborative watch? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Are you going to pick it up purely for collective purposes? Or do you just hate it? Do you think it's hideous? Are you just never ever want to see this in your lifetime? Let me know how you feel about it down in that comment section below. Well, that's it guys. That is the kit for G-Shock. 2021 Monday program covered. Uh, they are releasing a collaborative GM6900 with a iridescent rainbow metal finish on it. I covered all the release details for you. It's releasing today, Monday the 22nd of March 2021, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time online for a retail price of 400 US dollars. Uh, we covered all the official images. My thoughts and opinions on it were not exactly positive but it's again it's all subjective you know you guys could say it looks amazing for me it's a little bit of a miss for me but seriously i want to know if you guys are going to be picking up this monday program or not are you going to be picking up this g-shock gm6900 do you like it do you hate it let me know if you're going to be buying it or if it's going to be a miss for you down in that comment section below of course, if you guys want me to keep covering upcoming Kith Monday programs, upcoming Kith releases, don't forget to leave a big old like on this video, a comment on the comment section down below, and the best indicator you can give me is a subscribe to the channel. We just reached our latest milestone for uh, March of 2021. Hopefully, with your continuous support, guys, we can reach the new milestone that I said at the start of the video, which is 2,905 subscribers. So subscribe today and tell a couple mates and hopefully we can reach that milestone before the end of March. But that's everything I got to say about this Monday program guys. Good luck to all you guys out there that are looking to pick it up. Uh, if you're fans of the watch, I hope you managed to pick one up. If you're a reseller, maybe not so much because I want the people that actually want to love and wear it <laughs> to actually get it. So we'll just have to see. Hopefully everyone that wants it will get it. But that's everything that has to be said about it guys. So until the next Kith Monday program, until the next Kith release, until the next streetwear talk video in general, I'll catch you later.